Right, here she comes. What, she'll not be camera now, I, I tell you, she'll not be camera. Oh, you're close. Uh, well, oh. we're recording, we're recording. Wait a minute, I'm going backwards a bit. I'm not sitting that close. Oh, no. Yeah, just it's a horrible wet day today. Right, so where are we going today? We are going to I don't, North... I don't even think you know where we're going today, do you? <laughs> I don't know. Is it uh, on Castle? No, I, uh, we're going to Northwich first, because it's far too early to go there first, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we'll go to Northwich first. God, I don't know what speed to put these windscreen wipes on. It's like in between. Don't you just hate it when it does that when the rain's just in between. You don't know whether to go fast or slow with the windscreen wipes. <laughs> do you have that trouble? I, I really do. have that trouble. And then there's the speed when it's so, so fast, the rain, that they can't yeah. even keep up with it. Yeah. Um, no, we're going if to... you're on the motorway, that's terrible. We're going to town <laughs> and... Um, after town we're going to Green Bank, it's in Green Bank, we're going to collect, a, well, to sort of negotiate a Lego lot. Um, basically the lady that I got the last Lego lot off, the big Lego lot, it's uh, the video on my channel, um, she's basically contact me, oh, contacted me again um, yesterday and um, obviously um, I should be able to pick up another lot from her. She, she said she's got another lot, so hopefully she does have another lot. Um, and you know, it's of a good size and it's of what I want, you know. But last time it was really good. Last time when I got the Lego lot, there was like no mega blocks and it was really, really good. Um, so yeah, we're going there and then where else? That's it, innit? Oh no, lock up. Lock I knew up. there was somewhere else because I didn't say to you last night. It's okay, you told me in the week. Oh. Um, you said you wanted to sort out. Yeah. But oh, I yeah, I did tell you last yeah, night. Yeah, but I don't need to get involved. I don't need, yes. You don't need to get involved, then. Um, I don't... Well, it's my lock-up. You shouldn't tidy. need to get involved. It's my bloody lock-up. It's lock your lock-up. I know. You can bloody tidy it up yourself. Yeah, so um, we're doing that. So I'll show you a bit of footage of the lock-up as well. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else, is there? We're not going... I'm getting an M&S tea for £10. You're getting an M&S tea? Yeah, definitely. Oh, is it for £10 for two? Yeah. Uh, and what else have you got to do in town? Is that it? That's oh, and then I'll, oh, and obviously I'll be doing charity shopping in town. I didn't really say that, but... And apparently there's some deals at Asda. One, someone, a subscriber, uh, commented on my last video saying there's Lego deals at Asda. There are all those little princess things. Like they were pink packets of Lego. I've seen it. What in our local Asda? Oh, I don't know in our no, local. No, because our local one's really, really bad. It's just. Yeah. Well, I saw it. Any it was Lego on that extreme coupon, coupon, coupon thing. Yeah. And I shared it to you. you got what, what the little uh, of the new Elsa market. Not market thing. I don't know if it's market Elsa because that would be pale blue, wouldn't it? Their packets. Um, no, the, the new Elsa pink? ones are pinky pink. blue, like pink uh, oh. slash blue. Oh, or right. is it the Rapunzel market stall? I uh, haven't got bag? a clue. It was just. Know. That's I the only, the only pink poly bag I know. Well, yeah. no, loads of pink poly bags. These are not pink, pink poly bags. These you are said pink poly bags. I did. You can have a look back on the tape. <laughs> On the tape. The tape? What are we? Bloody hell, 1983. <laughs> Jesus, come on. This isn't furniture now. Okay. Jeez. You know what I mean? It was um, boxes, pink boxes, small pink boxes. Oh, I yeah, know. It'll be one of the. Might it'll be one of the bags, little. But I didn't say poly no, bags. No, he didn't say poly bags. He just said Lego deals. Um, oh, I think it's a heat. I'm pretty sure it was a heat. Um, but I go through so many comments now, it's crazy. I, I woke up this morning and I had to reply to about 20 comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's going to get to a stage soon, you know, in a few months or whatever, where I just can't reply to the comments. I don't know whether other content creators, well, I suppose a lot of them do, but they're like the big ones. Are the comments reply. all made on the one video? Can yeah, you, but obviously because I'm doing multiple videos a week, it's like multiple... It's like 80 to 100 comments a week. Oh, it's prob lovely. probably about that, yeah. Can you not do like one comment that sort of answers all? No, but you comments. can put a little love heart on the comment and it kind of notifies them that the creator loved your comment. 
Yeah. And you, that just takes a second. But I don't like doing that. It feels like a cop out. You know? Yeah. I want, I want well, to respond. Like some, I do. Some would just if, be... if you look in the comment sections, some of the comments I make are big, lengthy answers. You know, because I like to connect with my um, yes, subscribers. Know. You know, know. that's but the only way you, you connect with them live. I know, but sometimes you could, if it's just a positive comment, you could just put the comment, couldn't you? Yeah, I mean, little short ones. I, no, I know, little answer. short ones I do, but it's yeah. OCD. It's it, like the, the completist in me wants to answer everything. And comment. complete it, right. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like a game. <laughs> okay. yeah. Well, it's nice because if people are bothered to comment, yeah, if people then are bothered you're to comment. bothering to comment back, can't you? I am. Oh, that box in the back is my headphones, my new headphones. Oh, they arrived. Yes, I've got the I've got ones Lion suggested that I get ages ago and I didn't get them. Um, oh, good. But I think that'll be pretty good. The last, I mean, we're only about we're only about twenty twenty five pound pair something like that. But the last, because Lion's had these for ages. Are they um, like a proper headphone? They're not yeah, just not an earphone. Not an, but I need them for um, you know. I think on my birthday I'm still. I'm trying to do this 50,000 steps, but I've not, I've not, I've not done any prep for it or anything, have I? Oh, no. So, I don't know. I, like, I, I said to you, didn't I? I was don't gonna, think you need any more exercise. I was going to prepare, I know, but it's not that, it's like a principle, I've said it. I've okay. said I was going to do it, not just on video, but right. uh, to myself as well. Well, why don't and you do 50,000 what over two days over two days i could do but it feels like a bit again it feels like a cop out like okay, i just said okay the completest yeah but the problem is i really want to do it but i've not trained for it i've not done enough training at all i was gonna train i was gonna do like ten thousand steps a day then 20 then thirty thousand steps and then really train so it would be easy but i've only just been doing my ten thousand let alone twenty or thirty thousand are you even gonna have time in a day mm -hmm. thanks in a day to turn uh, in a day it's to a, turn. In the day to, turn. Sorry, in a day to uh, walk that much. Uh, it's about eight hours of walking, so you're gonna not get gonna you're not gonna get much packing done that day. No, but that's why it's a Tuesday because my birthday is a Tuesday, isn't it? so I don't pack on a Tuesday. Oh. Well, no, I, I do, but not loads. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be able to do it. Don't worry. I might not be able to do the fifty thousand, but I'll be able to do something. Yeah. Right. Where are we off here? We're doing our usual. Aisle, aren't we? The park. No, this isn't the usual. Oh, God, you hate when two people go like that. When they separate. No, why do they have to do that right in the middle of the Why do they all... separate? Yeah, but it's, it's just inconsiderate, isn't it? I'll go on here, I'll go this one here, next to this white one. I don't uh, know. Yeah, you. Yeah. What am I? I'm not, I'm just, out, I'm just having a wander around. Hi guys, so um, I've just finished the charity shops and I've just done Asda. My Asda has like an appallingly low stock of Lego, like they, they hardly stock anything. Um, there was a few deals on, uh, someone in the comment section of my last video said there was a few deals on. There is a few deals on but it was only like city sets, they were about 40% off but I don't really deal in city sets. <laughs> They're just very, very common, and I, I don't particularly like city sets. They're, they're not a licensed theme or anything like that, so I, I wasn't even going to get them at 40% off. If they had been like 50 or 60% off, probably, but not 40% off. Um, I did a little bit of footage in the charity shop, I don't know what I said. Um, and now I'm going to the car and uh, getting ready to go and hopefully pick up this Lego. Also, I've got another little pick on Monday. 
um, I was talking to someone in a charity shop and uh, someone I've you know no, I've known for a while and I've actually gone to his house before and picked up some stuff before as well um, but basically he's got some more stuff and uh, he usually gives me a fair deal you know usually it's sort of like 50 60 percent off eBay price so as long as I can flip the stuff quick there's a little bit of a margin in it for me and it usually is stuff I can you know that's very sought after that I can flip quick so you know with lower margins like that you do need to kind of flip things quick um, but saying that I'm at the car now so I'll leave it here and then after I've gone to pick up the Lego I'll show you that and I will also show you the stuff I've picked up from the charity shops today so see you in a little bit Hi guys, so we just got the Lego haul and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty good, Someone's pretty good, I'm a little excited. bit happy, um, little bit excited. a lot of good stuff, um, to be honest a few of the new sets, I didn't tell you then actually when we were just talking about it, a few of the new sets I might be tempted to keep as an investment because, no because mm. got I got them for, have we got room? No, but <laughs> because we got them for quite cheap so I wasn't really, this lady um, I had basically gone round, well you saw the whole video last time, I went round with my grand and granddad and we, we got this stuff and it, there was not really any new stuff that time but she said on the phone, I think, I'm pretty sure she said on the phone this time it was some new stuff or something but we got there and I was greeted with a brand new and sealed Jabba's sail barge which is a fairly sought after higher value set um, it's brand new and sealed. There is some, you know, shelf wear and stuff like that. It's, you know, a little bit of crushing to the box, but it's still brand new and sealed. And there was a brand new and sealed Lego Super Heroes, I think it's a Daily Bugle set, a Spider-Man set. And, uh, you know, again, it's a, you know, pretty valuable, not like really, really valuable, but, you know, valuable set. Um, and I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't, I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, what is this, you know? And then, they brought down some more new and sealed sets. There was the Lego Darth Vader buildable figure, the first release, not the second release. I think they have done a second release. Um, and then a few other. There was a bit, oh, there was the Mind Minecraft. You see that the Minecraft Lego Kuso set, which is now Lego Ideas. Um, but there was the Minecraft Lego Kuso set, which I don't know quite how much that's going for these days. But yeah, that's quite valuable. So. Yeah, it was really cool just even between them and then there was this massive box and I'll show you this when we get home but I just wanted to talk about it as well. There was this massive box of Hero Factory figures, wasn't there? Yes, we were taking... Well, you don't really know what they are, do you? So. But, um, oh, but you just sorry. said you'll show them when they go home. Yeah, I will. So, but I just want, I'm just so excited. I have to talk. I have to vocalise it right now. Um, but no, I was happy with what I paid. Um, she was happy with what she got for the charity. Um, it's, we're now going to the lock-up and what I'm doing is a first in, ooh, it's a bit shaky, I'm sorry about that, um, first in, first out kind of basis, so when this go, is that right, first? First in, yeah, first in, first out. <laughs> you couldn't work that I, out I don't know. at the same time. I know, I can't work it out, but basically the auction hall that I got went in first, so that needs to come out first, so this that is going sense. in last. This Lego haul in the back here is going in last, so that's going to be kind of the later. I'm going to deal with that at a later date. And also, you know, I'm quite happy to fill up my storage lock up a little bit um, because, you know, it needs filling up a bit, doesn't it? You like to... spending money. Yeah, I like spending money. Um, and then, basically, I'll deal with that at a later date. Um, but, yeah, I'm really, really happy with what I got. I'll, I'll say I'll show you after this clip. and uh, Well, actually, I'll show you the storage lock up after this clip. And um, yeah, I'm just really, really happy with that. It just seems like there's no end to the stock getting at the moment. I mean, now I've had, um, I didn't tell you, but Paul said he's got some stuff. Yeah. So I'm going around there on Monday, hopefully. Mm. So I've got that on Monday, which is going to be another couple of hundred spend, no doubt. But he's got some, he's got some original Ghostbusters stuff. And um, I'm quite happy to get that. I'd be quite happy to get that. So um, yeah. Um, it's just no end for stock buying at the moment, it's just crazy. And uh, it's January as well, which isn't normally a month that you get a lot of stock, you know, typically. It's normally like the worst month for getting stock, but this is what I always talk about, about networking and setting up systems and knowing what, what you've got to look forward to in terms of buying your stock. And also trying to be a bit spontaneous with the better way you buy stock, and that will get you 
a lot of stock and you will never complain about running out of stock again. But I'm actually gonna do a video specifically on um, how to never run out of stock again. And uh, I've got a few different tips that I kinda use. Calendar situation has helped massively, hasn't it? Yeah. With lighting everything on the calendar. But I'm gonna do a separate video for that. So anyway, I will see you at the lockup in a minute. See you soon, guys. So a bit of a change of plan, what we're doing, oh well sorry no it isn't a change of plan, sorry I'm going along with the original plan, but what I realised is if I leave the Lego here, you won't be able to see it. Now what I'm doing is I'm not putting any of the new sets that I got in the storage lock up here, I'm uh, keeping the new sets at home because I don't want them being in here. Um, I want them at home really. Um, so this is like the used stuff I got, I got this here, this here this here and then I've got a lo uh, load in that box there so I'm just going to very very quickly show you what i got in these bags I think there might be another box I don't know maybe there's not um, and then what I'll do when I get home is I'll show you the, the new stuff anyway because I can do that um, but we've got the um, Republic gunship here uh, which is a really really cool set um, so that is really nice to see that in there um, and then we've got like loads of, I think this is like a Hasbro type thing or something, but it's still, there's going to be some money in that, it's like an, I think it's an ATST or something like that. I'm not too up on the names, but um, yeah, but there's loads of other sets in here, I'm not going to spend a long time going through it. I might do, when I, when I bring it out my lockup, I might do a separate haul video actually. Uh, we've got another ship of some sort here, this, I believe, yeah, that's still Lego. Um, it's got... Everything's falling off actually, but it's got a minifig in, trying to work out who that is. Oh, it's uh, Palpatine, I think. Um, I don't think you're going to see that very well, but it's Palpatine uh, there. So that's Palpatine in there, so it's going to be, might be a Palpatine set. We've got some new bags here, Lego Education bags, some sort of Shima bag there. Um, Oh, and then we've got a load of droids and uh, General Grievous and stuff with like heads missing. So I'm going to have to try and find their heads. They are for like a big set. I don't know where it's gone. I think it's in the car actually. If it is in the car, I'll show you that later on. But it's a big plastic uh, like uh, droid carrier. And it's not Lego, but she threw it in for free. So I was quite happy with that. And uh, yeah, just sort of like bits and bobs in here. And then we've got a load of more lego bits down at the back and then as you can see i've had a terrible terrible sort out of all the stuff um you can see that it's kind of just piled at the moment i don't think it's gonna fall but you can kind of see that it's not great how it's stacked so yeah i'm gonna do a bit more sorting before i leave just to make sure i know it's not gonna fall but this is the like majority of the, the auction haul like Except for that box there, I think it's like all the auction haul, except that box there as well. These two boxes, that's from the previous auction haul, and that's from the Lego, but everything else is still the auction haul. The big one, including this round here, this there, this there, this there, and I don't think there's anything in that box. And also, there's one box in the car already, so yeah, it was a pretty big auction haul. I think you can probably see the magnitude of it more this time, um, but I've had a bit of a sort out. I don't need racking, I don't need shelving yet, um, but I think there will come a day where I need, you know, when I'm utilising a lot more of the storage lockup, I'm just going to have to get some shelving, um, or if I don't do that, I'm going to go with the plastic box idea, but I'm liking that less and less now because um, it's going to cost so much money to buy all plastic boxes to fill this lockup. Um, but yeah, for the moment, we're all right, we're all right. I'm, I'm not utilising loads of it. Um, but I know, I know in a few weeks, you know, it could quite happily uh, be you know, not half full, but a quarter full or something like that, or 33% full. So yeah, there'll be whole videos done on most of this stuff when I take it back home, uh, you, know, when, you know, when I get round to it over the next few, maybe, maybe next week or two. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing is just going to put the rest of this, obviously I'd say the Lego's coming in here. For the rest of this, I'm just going to put that over there, and then we've got a bit more space. I'm going to put this mass... You can't even see the scale of this thing. Well, actually, this is a breadboard here, and and I've got another fairly, well, sort of medium-sized box on top of it. It is a massive cardboard box, very, very thick, full of, uh, you know, ammo stuff, you know, like ammo belts or pouches or whatever you want to call them, military-issue ones, I think. So... 
yeah, uh, that box needs to go over there, and then that'll be it. And, um, and then obviously when I get home, I'll show you the new Lego sets that I got in the haul. And uh, I think I'll wrap up the video there. I think my mum and granddad are coming round as well at some point, so we need I need to get on and get back for when they come round. So yeah, I'll leave it there for now, guys. See you soon. Hi guys, so uh, my grandparents have just gone now and I'm going to show you the sort of the new part of my Lego haul. So I've got a load of used stuff, which will get me back a good amount of money. And then I got some new and sealed sets and there's one particular that I'm very excited about. So I'm going to show you them now, but before I do, I just quickly wanted to say how much I paid. Because I forgot to in the previous clip at the lockup. I paid £250 for the haul. What you see in front of me, if I sold it all today at these prices that I'm quoting, then um, I should be in profit on the haul or at that sort of break-even level. So I'm very comfortable with the amount I paid and uh, there should be some good money in it overall, as well as the things that I've not even looked through and, you know, extra figures in there and all that good stuff that, that you always get with these types of hauls. So, yeah, I'm going to flip you around now. So then, very quickly, I will um, just sort of go through the sets that I've got. So uh, this here, it was in the bundle, but it's not new and sealed, but it'll get me a few quid back, that game there, uh, LEGO Xbox 360, the uh, LEGO movie video game. So yeah, that was included in the bundle, but isn't sealed. And then finally, something that isn't sealed as well is this Star Wars Battle of Hoth. Brand new, and, if that was brand new and sealed, you'd probably get about 70, 80 quid for that on Amazon, especially in quarter four. Um... But because it's used, probably looking about 20, 20 25, 20, uh, if I can even speak, 25 or 30 on that, something around there. Um, you can see here we've got this uh, 612, goes for 40 quid on Amazon. Probably going to sell this as like Nouveau because there is some wear, as you can see, to the corners and stuff. So I'll be selling that as like new, maybe achieve 30, 35, something like that. Um, again, brand new and sealed, 31020. Uh, three in one kind of plain set. I don't know the name of this set um, But yeah, that seems to go for 30 quid on Amazon. So I'm happy with that uh, Lego Darth Vader um, 75111 um, This is a retired set as well. I think these are all pretty much retired. All of these I think are retired um, But yeah, this probably goes back for I didn't check this one but I think it does go for about 30 quid on Amazon, so quite happy with that. Next, we come to this uh, thing here. This is a, I don't know what it, what brand it is, I've not checked, but it'll be something like Hasbro, and it's a uh, droid carrier. The droids are with it, but the at the lockup, and some of them are like missing heads and stuff, so I might have to go through the boxes to see if I can't find the heads. Don't know what it goes for. She said she was just going to chuck it in for free, so yeah, I, I wasn't going to leave it there. Um... And yeah, there's probably some money in that, maybe 20, 30 quid or something. If I can get it working, maybe a bit more, but I, I don't know. I don't even know whether it's working or anything. So yeah, that's that anyway. Um, Lego Technic 42048 uh, race cart. Uh, it goes for 37 on Amazon, but I'm going to sell it as like new because of the obvious uh, shelf wear there. Probably going to get about 30 quid, something like that. Um, Lego Minecraft 21102. Uh, this is a Lego Kuso set, brand new and sealed again. Um, yeah, this is all over the place on eBay. Like, I've seen them go as low as 20 quid, and I've seen them go as high as 60 quid. So, you know, shooting somewhere in the middle, just for the purposes of this video, just to pluck a figure out of there, probably about 40 quid. I might go 50 and see if I can get it, but, you know, in, in the middle, it would be about 40 quid. Um, the big daddy of this haul, 75020. Jabba's sail barge, brand new and sealed again, but obviously we've got some wear down there. Now, uh, yeah, there's a few on for like 150, there's a few on for more, and uh, I'll probably be looking around that range, maybe a little bit more, but yeah, that is definitely a keeper there, so I'm not going to be selling that. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely set. As I say, I'm going to be investing in it. And then finally, a set that I've been after for quite a while, actually, uh, brand new and sealed as well. I actually wanted this set brand new and sealed. Uh, 76005 Spider-Man's Daily Bugle Showdown. Um, again, if you're looking on eBay, about 50 quid, something like that, maybe a little bit more. Um, I'm very, very tempted to keep that one as an investment as well. So that might not get sold straight away. That might be an investment uh, thing as well. Now I'm just going to take you over here to a few items I got from charity shops. There is a couple of DVDs that I've got, but I've left them in the car, so I apologise about that. We've got this uh, Little Miss Complete Collection. 
I don't know whether the price is still on it. Yeah, it is. Uh, 3 99 there. I actually saw one of these when I was looking it up go for 27 99 So that is sold. Um, so I don't know whether I can achieve that, but certainly there's got to be about 20 quid in that. And it is complete. I checked it in the shop. Uh, 1 through 36, but they're in a different arrangement. Um, inside here, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get it open. Oh, I'm actually, yeah, it's not that hard to get open. Um, is a um, Olympus 35 camera. I paid a tenner, I paid 9.99, but I've seen these go for about 30 quid before, so yeah, I was going to pick that up for a tenner. And then, just because he was giving me such a good deal on it in the charity shop, it was in one of the charity shops I know the manager of, um, and he said, you know, you can take it for 99p if you want it, I, you know, he could see I was looking at it and stuff, but I don't think these are amazing, um, and yeah, I just kind of took a punt on it because it was 99p. Um, maybe get a tenner out of it or something, I don't know, I've got to have a look up of that, but I have sold these, like, puzzle and rolls before, but it's been, like, the Ravensburg ones, and they've always been new and sealed, and I've been able to get, I think, I think on Amazon, about 20 quid, something like that, but I've never had, like, a jumbo one, and this is obviously used, so I don't know, we'll see on that one, but anyway, I'll leave it there, guys, I'll say, I'm sorry I've uh, left those DVDs in the car, uh, but it was just some standard, you know, sealed DVDs for Amazon, really. Oh, and actually, there was a Doctor Who VHS that I got for 20p. That goes for about, sort of, 8, 9 quid. Um, and I just couldn't leave it, because it was Doctor Who, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Actually, I'll flip you back round. One Right then, so uh, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I will see you in the next one. If you did like the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm making the content that you want to see. And if you have any video suggestions or anything like that, then obviously my ears are open, so leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one, guys.